I think it comes in two parts. We were just uh, you were just talking about Shell's reaction to um, to 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 the comments on on their business. Uh, the core business, uh, I think, we have to be very straight and open about it, is going through an investment cycle. There is demand of energy. That demand is being somehow catered by. Um, uh, uh, a relaunch in what we define the core traditional kind of conventional investments, obviously orchestrated, implemented, executed with a much higher level of attention to the environment than before, but that's where we're coming from. And I think that's where will growth will come from, at least for the next few quarters. If we then move to more midterm size, we see a very large opportunity in the development of digitally based services where we see clients, our traditional clients, looking at ways of reducing their carbon footprint, reducing total cost of ownership of their plants. And that's where we can play a role by extending what we're already doing for instance in subsea robotics and uh, using those digital platforms and digital devices to lower the maintenance costs and lower the carbon footprint of the plants of our clients. Francesco, I'm fascinated by this. It, it, clearly, there is a, um, a, a, a demand now for a response to invest more in either fresh exploration or at least an uptick here in the maintenance cycle. Can you tell us a little bit more about how large you expect this response to higher energy prices to be here? Because I don't think the market has been focused enough on what is likely to be an increase in capex from some of these oil giants as they reflect on how they can improve profitability by just selling more product. I think you're right. I think it's that kind of observation time, a kind of suspended judgment, if you wish, is because um, we see some of our clients themselves are thinking a bit about before going into an investment cycle. What I can tell you is that historically we've been very close to um, some of uh, these um, energy giants and we see investment being picked up. We've uh, announced yesterday that, for instance, our drill ships are kind of fully booked for the coming month. We see uh, drilling rigs reopening in, in the Middle East. So uh, I think by talking to these clients that the clients that have started investment, they think relatively, you know, mid, rather more mid than short term in the investment cycle ahead of us. And that's where we're coming from in expressing kind of our projections of growth is the core that we're going to push you through the new. And just... Um... Fixing on uh, the wind story for a moment here, obviously in the results you've talked a little bit about some of the challenges on the uh, servicing and maintenance side. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Because we're also, I think, starting to understand that this transition through the use of wind energy is not as straightforward as many had hoped. <clears throat> I think you're right. I think in general terms what I'm observing is... You know, there is an assessment now of the real risk return profile of this project. These projects are very often led by consortium of lenders and uh, intermediaries. It's not like serving a big oil company that needs to get to the well exploration fast. And therefore, if you take some kind of turns and, and upside or downside, that you know, there is cooperation in getting the projects done. These guys look at IRR. They haven't got much cash. They need to deliver the plants. That's on the, you know, the client side. On the technology side, um, there are still a lot of complexities in putting these things into the water and doing it safely and properly. And therefore, you know, there is a, a growing awareness, my view is, in the, in the industry that the cost return balance needs to be a bit reviewed and, and rethought of. Um, I mean, from Cypern, what I can say is that uh, you know, uh, we're learning our lesson. Um, we're in the project. We need to um, uh, obviously complete it. We'll do it. And what we have reflected in our numbers, our best estimates of the cost to complete. But you're absolutely right. I think there is a, an increasing awareness that it's not going to be a walk in the park going uh, from here to there in terms of uh, uh, renewable energies. I think this, the, the path is there. I don't think, uh, you know, there are much debate about uh, the destination, but I think the issue is how we can engineer a viable, financially robust path to get there.